Welcome, collectors. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Diecast Masters Gomeko GP4 slip form paver in 1 to 32 scale. The real machine is a engineering marvel, and the scale model is no slouch either. At 1 to 32 scale, you're going to need to make a lot of room in your display cabinet, as you will see shortly. A little bit of information on the real machine first. The Gomeko GP4 is designed for paving up to 40 feet wide and to accommodate multiple width changes. It's available as a two-track, or as you see here, a four-track slip form paver. The GP4 is a smart machine with dozens of sensors that input feedback back to the machine so it can automatically change steering, elevation control, speed, and much, much more. As far as the model goes, the GP4 slip form paver, as I mentioned, is in 1 to 32 scale by Diecast Masters. You can purchase this model right now by taking a look at the link in the video's description. It's on the GoMako website. This GP4 is the four-track version with a 5400 series mold with detachable plow and strike-off. The plow moves laterally, the legs pivot to transport mode, the tracks move, and the track frame and the legs actually have some height adjustability. All of those features you will see in this video as I will demonstrate them for you. All right, let's get on with the model review. So, you'll probably hear this theme come up a lot in this video, and that is just the fact that this is a truly massive model. I can't overemphasize that enough. Once you get this thing out of the box, and I will show you the packaging at the end of this video, I just have found that it's probably best just to show you the model instead of trying to unbox the whole thing on camera because, say it with me, it's huge and you can't get the whole thing on the frame. So, here's the model. The way I have it now, it's configured in what's known as the transport mode. So this is how the machine would be delivered to the job site on a low boy or a flatbed trailer. The legs, as you can see, are swung out to the side so that it reduces the amount of space you would need on a low boy. Now, sometimes also the, the paving mechanism, or sometimes referred to as the screed, this is also detachable, so sometimes that might uh, be removed for transport mode as well. So once the machine gets to site, the first thing, obviously, after it gets off the low boy, these legs would then rotate out. This is one of the working features of the model. So let's demonstrate that the legs rotate out. They're also height adjustable, so to get them grounded, you can push them down, you can raise them up. The tracks are linked together, and they can be made to, to move, but I want to caution you against doing that because they are individually linked. You want to be really, really careful. Let's go ahead and swing this side out as well. Now, in addition to the whole legs swinging out, you can see that the track frames themselves can also rotate for added maneuverability. So once we get these legs set up and we're ready to go ahead and get into a paving mode, this is also the front of the machine and despite this being a massive machine, you can actually operate this machine with one operator and this is the operator's control console up here to give you guys a better look at what that looks like because it is detailed and it has a graphic on it. As you can see on screen, there it is. A little bit hard to see but it is there, and it's very, very nicely detailed. So let's go ahead and rotate the machine around. You got a nice catwalk on the back where different workers can stand on here. You have the Gomeko logo here, as well as they're saying pave with pride. I think that's a really nice touch. On all the legs, you have Gomeko up on top, and then GP4, as well as these chevrons from red, white, and red on each of the four track frames. We turn this thing back around. When I was going over the model's features, I mentioned that it comes with an optional separate piece, and that's what's known as the plow and strike off. How you assemble this is these two pieces right here, this piece and this piece, go here and here. And although it's not an exact fit, it just kind of sits in like this, so you want to be a little bit careful on both sides. Make sure you're leveled up. And put it in, there you go, and the whole strike off can slide left to right, and it can lower. So I'll demonstrate that. So tons of different posing opportunities with this model that mimic the real machine in real life, so you could put up quite the impressive display with this machine. Including, let's bring in a 1 to 32 scale dump truck, so in the real world, this concrete paver really wouldn't have a concrete or cement mixer truck with it just because of the capacity and the cement that it takes 
right in here, you really would have a dump truck come in. So he would back up right here into about there. We'll back this up just a little bit more. And he would be dumping cement, concrete right here. So these machines are very, very impressive to watch. If you've never seen one in the real world, you can look up images of them on YouTube. You can often find them paving highway, interstate highways or working on runways. That's their most famous applications. And they are such high output machines that again, the dump trucks are constantly coming to keep up with this machine's productivity. So there you go. That's a review of the Gomeco GP4 in 1 to 32 scale by Diecast Masters. Before I sign off with this video, I do want to mention a couple more things, and that's I promised you guys a look at the box. So let's go ahead and show that on screen. The box is the same style of packaging that the first Gomeco model came in, and that's the flips up style packaging with an outer sleeve. So this is the outer sleeve, Gomeco GP4 slip form paper, one to 32 scale. The item number is 912800 for reference. The side, once again, has a picture of it and the Gomeco GP4 on it. There's a little pull tab, and this is how you pull the main box out, just like this. Let's move the sleeve for just a moment. Same thing on this box, as you can see here. And we will go ahead and show you this side because this is probably the most impressive picture. Here you can see where all the concrete is being dumped out and being put through the machine and just a very, very impressive and high quality photo of the GP4 at work. To get the model out, you pop a top just like this and the model will be in here inside the foam rubber. As I said, it's very difficult to get this all on camera, but as you can see, it comes in the highest quality of packaging. So that's the packaging. I do want to say one other thing, and that is a couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity and the privilege to review the other Gomeco model. There are two models currently made uh, from Diecast Masters for the Gomeco group. So go ahead and take a look at the top of your screen right now. There will be a suggested link for that. And that's the Commander 3 curb and gutter machine. Both of these models by Diecast Masters are in the same scale, a 1 to 32 scale. They are extremely impressive and large models. And definitely we will be a head turner in your collection and for sure a conversation starter and definitely the centerpiece of anyone's collection. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please, by all means, leave them down below in the comment section. Until next time, take care, be safe, and I will see you in the next review.